welcome back to the vlog how are you guys <laughs> just wanted to start off this video whilst making myself a cup of tea by saying just thank you so much for all the positive vibes going on here i mean this is very much a pattern of the internet when you give off positive happy vibes you get it in return which is tricky when you're like going through shit and you just don't feel happy because <laughs> it's not really fair but i'm very aware that because i'm in such a good place i'm feeling so happy i'm feeling so full of life you guys are loving it and giving that back to me in return um so thank you so much i've just been loving reading through all of your comments i was literally just reading through comments on the last video actually no it won't be the last video it'll be two videos ago it'll be the one the renovation video and they were just so lovely and it's given me such like a pep in my step so thank you if you haven't seen that video i was chatting through sorry i'm so distracted we have parrots in our garden it's completely crazy in london there's like loads of green they're not parrots they're like parakeets i don't know apparently there's a rumor that some like celebrity let a couple loose and then they like breeded and that's why they're in london but anyway we always have them in our garden it's totally bizarre what i was going to say is if you haven't seen that video i chat through our plans to kind of renovate our dining space and i show you all the plans that were given to me by an interior designer and my thoughts the thought process and i will link that video here and then my last video was a little home vlog i know you guys love it when i'm just like hanging out at home answering some of your questions and a lot of recommendations like my healthy hair hack and what i'm currently watching on tv but today it's going to be a little little bit of everything because i'm going to do a little bit of vlogging today maybe a little bit on the weekend we will see i need to get a spoon Ooh. i'm always wearing this tracksuit it's just so comfortable washes well don't know where the rumour has come from that Adenola stuff doesn't wash well. I just wash everything on like 30 and I don't tumble dry stuff. I just let it dry on like a clothes horse and it's been absolutely fine. And I'm so glad I didn't get the hoodie because the jumper is just so much more comfortable. I just, this is like my working from home uniform now. I feel like I need to get another one. How nice is this mug? I got it ages ago in a little local market and I love the, the colour combination. Also, in case anyone's interested, when I make my tea, I have to let the tea bag sit for quite a while in the tea just like let it hang out there do its own thing and then i'll like really really press it on the side so the actual tea itself is strong but then i have quite a lot of milk so the overall tea is weak but i have skimmed milk which is weird i know but it's just like what we always had growing up in my house it's what i'm used to when i have semi-skimmed or whole it just tastes really ugh to me so then i put in quite a lot of skimmed milk let me go get it this is my perfect cup of tea. Does that offend anyone? How do we feel about that? No sugar, no sweetener, strong but milky. I feel like I need to put on a little bit of lipstick. Whenever you guys ask me what lipstick I'm wearing, it's most likely going to be this, which is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It just really is a shade that suits me and it's a bit more of like a matte lipstick so it actually stays on. Like I still love my MAC lipstick, I'll wear that all the time, but it does kind of fade. Now I look a little bit more alive. Also, guys, I'm sure you've seen all over my TikTok. I saw Erica Davies on Instagram, just like, she put up a reel and she was like, this is an amazing bag from Asda and it's only £12. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that is literally the best Ganny dupe I've ever seen ever. It looks just like something you would buy from Ganny. And for the style of bag that it is, it's not the sort of style that I would want to invest a lot of money into. I So I was already out and I was like, look, I'm passing an Asda. I'm just going to go see. And there were loads. And then like by that evening, <laughs> I think they'd like sold out everywhere. So I'm so lucky I got one. This bag is from Asda. It's 12 pounds. It's so ganny. Everything from the leopard print to the neon little kind of, um, what, what? Lost words, lost all words. Neon, I keep wanting to say features, accents, neon accents. There's a little front zip. There's even like a nice little pattern on it that makes it not look too cheap. And you can change the length. Oh my gosh, one sec. Someone sent me flowers. Who? Why? Look how good this bag is. You can change the length of it. It's the perfect little size. And like I was saying, for something that's so like trend led, you're not gonna wanna spend like hundreds of pounds on a little crossbody leopard print bag. So this is perfect. Asda, who knew? Also, while I was there, the kids stuff is so good. Like all the fancy dress and the kids clothes. I couldn't really spend long there, but it made me realize I need to go to Asda more. There isn't one like 
that close to me so it's not my go-to i'm more likely go to go to like the big tesco or the little waitrose mns for lunch or whatever but the big asda next level honestly very very excited about this sorry if it's like sold out and you can't get your hands on it but maybe maybe they'll bring more out while we're here i'm gonna open these flowers and see who they're from stripe and stair knickers the high-rise ones oh my gosh look at this color combo <gasps> Oh my god, guys. Why are these like the best? Thing? They are so soft. If you still haven't tried Stripe and Stare, honestly. Wait, are these from Stripe and Stare? Why? Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. Oh, Wild at Heart, who are the flower company, have collaborated with Stripe and Stare. Look at this gorgeous bouquet of flowers. Oh, I love this. This is like my perfect. I love the yellow. I love this little one. I wish I knew names of flowers. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. I wonder if I could put them in my new vase. Oh, thanks so much. That really brightened up my day. I'm actually popping into um, Selfridges tomorrow to meet the team from Stripe and Stare because they have a pop-up there. I don't know if it'll still be on. Probably not when this video goes live, but so cool. I love just seeing like brands that I really like and like get behind just do better and better and grow and grow and honestly love them what i was going to say before oh look at, sorry look at the imagery that's so nice what i was going to say is in my previous video i mentioned my friend shelly whitehead who is an end of relationship i think she's actually a life coach i keep telling people she's an end of relationship therapist i'm not sure if she actually is but that's what she specializes in mainly romantic but obviously a heartbreak a relationship can also come under friendship, uh, losing someone. I think she deals with heartbreaks of all kinds. But anyway, she has now brought out a book called Healing Your Heartbreak, 28 Days to Transformation. I think this one is mainly based on a romantic heartbreak end of relationship rather than a friendship but it's super interesting and obviously these things can apply to all aspects of a heartbreak it's such a good book she she gives it to people and says um, may you never need this but in reality some people may be going through a heartbreak and may need this it's a great gift to buy someone or if you need it for yourself it's not too big it's not too overwhelming it's interactive there's parts of the book where you she'll ask you to write down some things it there's checklists it's really action based it's not just like wishy-washy like oh your heart broken like here's how to feel better it's like right this is how we're going to help you process and get through it because any heartbreaks that i've been through in the past i find myself i find myself saying will i ever get over this and it's not about getting over it, it's about getting through it. It's a process and even though you feel like you may never ever feel happy again and you might just want to cry every day for the rest of your life, it's not the reality and Shelly will help you get to that point. She's amazing, she's wonderful and I really wanted to give her a shout out in a YouTube video because she totally deserves it. So I will link this book down below if any of you need it, which I hope you don't because a broken heart is Freaking painful. I feel like my tea might be at the perfect temperature now. Mm, that's good. Let's put these flowers in a vase. I actually got this yesterday when I went to Asda because I thought it was really nice, but then I realized there's a hole in the bottom, which is kind of filled, but I think it's more of a planter than something for flowers. Yeah, that's quite low, it's really loose, which means that it will probably leak which is very annoying because I don't really have any plants. I, I wanted this to be a vase. What else can I use? I'm gonna use this, which is like a, a clear, it's actually my water jug. I feel like that would look nice, wouldn't it? Oh, look, at the bottom of the bag, there's more, there's more knickers. I didn't even see. Oh, wow, these are so gorgeous. Red, blue, and then floral. I don't know why knickers always look massive when I hold them up on the screen. These are a medium. It's because they're high-waisted. I love a high-waisted, like, Bridget Jones pant. Okay, let's get these blooms in some water. This morning, it was very cute. I um, dropped Ruby at nursery, and because it's Mother's Day on Sunday, they invited all the mums in to have breakfast with the kids, and it was really cute. He was so confused. I mean, he doesn't actually eat breakfast there. He eats breakfast at home, but they offer it just in case. Um, so I sat there and had breakfast with him, which was really, really sweet. Oh, wow, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. So, so nice. 
Where should I put these? I'm just gonna take a quick photo of the flowers for Instagram. Loving Instagram at the moment. I'm I'm growing on all my channels at the moment, which is really exciting. Like there's there's throughout my career there's been ups and downs, and it's not always based on numbers, of course, it's based on how I'm feeling about it, but things are all growing at the moment and it's really exciting and I'm loving it. I've literally just posted another video on Instagram where I'm trying on some new stuff in Arquette. So like I'm in the changing room, trying on some different bits, like talking through how they feel. And I just feel like, although I'm not using that microphone for all of my content, it's allowed me to do so much more and show more of my personality and do things that I couldn't do before because I would have had to be like super close to the camera or being really loud. And now I can be really discreet and I literally like can just talk at this level and the microphone will pick it up, which is huge. And I've had a lot of fun experimenting with it. So I've just popped that one live, but I'm sure there's been loads of other stuff go live since then, between then and this video going live. Let me get a nice photo of these flowers. Bridge, they're like nice knickers. He's making fun of the colors. What's, what do you want? These, look, this is a sexy color. <laughs> Better than my like, array of beige knickers. I'm doing something really nice in about 45 minutes. I'm gonna have a little FaceTime date. I have followed Jamie Page Beauty on YouTube and Instagram for years. I love her content. I feel like we have so much in common just from our like random little creative hobbies to our curly hair and just so many little things that often she'll say in videos or do and I'm like, oh my God, I feel like we would really get on in real life. But we're never gonna like bump into each other at an event because she lives in Canada and I live in London. So I just messaged her one day and was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna message her and say, would you like to have a little FaceTime date or something? And she was totally up for it, which I think is so nice. And so yeah, we're gonna have a little cup of tea together and just kind of meet-ish in real life, kind of, um, and just chat and say hey and introduce each other. And like, we've always commented on each other's content and stuff, but I think it'd be really nice. I wanna talk to her about her curly hair journey and all of her fun hobbies. And I just think connecting with new people like you've literally got nothing to lose. This is what I've learned over the past year. You have nothing to lose by just being more open, accepting and like willing to let more people in. You literally have nothing to lose. You don't have to like make new best friends left, right and center, but just having that like human connection with people and finding people you have things in common with and just being brave enough to be like, hey, do you wanna have a FaceTime date? <laughs> Why not? I have really put myself out there and in the past like year or two. And it's led to so many really lovely experiences. I've met so many lovely people. It is like shaped me in a different way. And someone actually said to me, someone in the industry said to me that they noticed that compared to how I was many years ago, now when I enter a room, I, I seem really approachable. And I loved hearing that, that was so nice. I often tell myself, as someone who's not a risk taker, I often say like, what's the worst case scenario? So in this, this is funny because Jamie might be watching this video and thinking I'm nuts, but worst case scenario is it's really awkward. The chat does not flow. And if that were to happen, then it would be fine. It would be a short chat, probably wouldn't do it again. We'd continue watching each other's content and I'd be like, eh, shame she's not as great in real life, but that's fine. <laughs> that's worst case scenario. It's not exactly that bad, is it? So nothing to lose. Just a little pause of this video for like a slightly serious topic. It's difficult to talk about this because there's a lot to talk about. So I'm just gonna give you the top line and hope that any of you, any of you who this is relevant to will check the link in the description box and do further research and look into it properly yourself. But I really wanted to tell you because I put something on Instagram thinking probably most people already know about this and I got so many messages from people who didn't know and were so grateful. So just wanted to pop it on here as well. This little announcement is only relevant to anyone who has at least one Jewish grandparent. The NHS in England is now offering free testing for the BRCA gene. You might have heard of the BRCA gene. Probably if you have someone in your family with breast cancer, you would have heard of it, but it, the research has changed and now anyone with even just one Jewish grandparent is able to test for free to see if they carry the BRCA gene. And this applies to anyone who's 18 or over. Basically, I'm just gonna quickly read this from my phone. Having Jewish ancestry increases your risk of having the BRCA gene mutation. One in four Ashkenazi Jews and one in 140 Sephardi Jews have the BRCA gene compared to one in 250 
individuals in the UK in general. So it's up to you whether you decide to test or not. I think it's important to look at what that means. If you test for the BRCA gene and find out you do have it, there is so much information on the website of what that then means. It is amazing to be able to find out because there is preventative measures that you can take to avoid getting breast ovarian cancer. And this also applies to men as well. But I would say that I think it depends on the time in your life, what stage you are in your life, and whether you, when you choose to do this test, because it can affect the way in which you have your children, or it may affect having to have certain surgeries and stuff, and you may have very young children. I would say just like, you think about what is right for you. It's a lot of information to be told, but how incredible that the opportunity is here to be able to find out and take precautionary measures to avoid possibly getting cancer at some point in your life. It's a heavy topic to talk about and I'm obviously not a doctor and I can't always use the right words but my job in this case is to let you know that this exists because it's an incredible new initiative it's been around for a little bit but they're really giving a push to it now and I want to make sure that anyone in my audience who this is relevant to knows about it so I'm going to put the link down below in the description box it's a really simple thing online that you can order the test and you just like do it at home I'm pretty sure you just like spit into something don't quote me on that just a little announcement guys are just finishing up but just wanted to Say hi to Jamie and her little toy cow. Hi. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the crochet animals. Too cute. I'm trying to convince Lily to start crocheting and also talking about our curly hair journey. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So good. That was pure joy. We talked hobbies, we talked crochet, painting, her little stationery shop, which I love, curly hair, treating myself to some dairy milk, and then I'm gonna go pick up Grey. Trap tomorrow. Morning, guys. It's actually not morning, it's lunchtime. George is here today. Hi. <laughs> we are shooting, we've been brainstorming, and now we have a plan. And we're about to shoot our first video of the day and then we're going out the house, which I'm very much looking forward to. Did I mention, I think I mentioned in my last video that I had this idea of recreating old outfits that I wore after having kids when my body shape had changed and I didn't have any time and I just like lost all sense and I was not shopping or doing anything. And I, I wanna recreate those outfits, like how I would wear them now. Not like shaming my past self, but more just like, feel like it would be helpful looking at a similar outfit but like little tweaks I would make to finish it off because that's the thing I feel like I never used to finish an outfit so that is what we are going to shoot now one of those I think I've got like four that I'm going to do over the next like month <laughs> sections because Rich is making himself lunch <laughs> which he's allowed to do that's fair I just like when I'm doing an outfit video with a bag and I want it to not look empty I just literally shove such random things so two bananas today <laughs> That's a wrap on the first reel. We're gonna quickly edit it to see what we think. If we like it, I love editing like on the go and then we can make sure all the other ones are like, you know, how we want them to be. Then we're gonna quickly eat some lunch. We started later today because we did a little brainstorming session. Then we're gonna go out and get some out and about content with a little mic. Cause I can shoot like tripod stuff when George is not here. I need to utilize her being here. <laughs> I've made myself a little sober noodle thing for lunch. It's not like the full, Madeline Shaw one, I just kind of winged it, but it's got a bit of kale, a bit of red pepper, some sauces, and it's yummy. Guys, George and I just went to the big Sainsbury's. We filmed something really fun. I can't wait for it to go live. I don't know if you would have seen it yet or not, but I think it's gonna be great. But I just thought, as I just got home, for TikTok, I'm gonna quickly film a little Sainsbury's haul, very casual, but I just thought, you know, why not two in one? You're literally watching me like you're behind the scenes. George is looking at me like she's watching a TikTok. I thought, why not, two in one, whilst I film the TikTok on my phone right here, right next to you, you can watch it too. Right, let me just line up this video. Oh, where are you gonna look? I'm gonna look at the phone, guys, okay? Sorry, you'll, you, you'll be fine over here. You don't need my eyes. I've been to the big Sainsbury's. I've got to show you what I got. Got myself a little slice of cheesecake to have with my afternoon cup of tea. Oh, this looked fun. Sunday coconut cream whipped shower foam. <gasps> <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, that's so good. An air fryer magazine. Yogurts for my kids. Oh, a leopard print hairband. Kind of cute. Okay, these are insane. Gherkin stuffed olives. An olive with a little pickle just stuffed inside. Genius. I also picked up these pickles because I'm doing a pickle video, of course, and I wanted to try them. Polish gherkins in brine. And then just some Aveeno bath stuff for my son because he's got eczema. Back to the vlog. Did you... Whoa, my battery's flashing. Ooh, lovely sunset over there. <laughs> so many things happening. Wait, did, do you guys get a close-up of the olive pickle situation? Because honestly, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Look at this. And... <laughs> at it it's an olive with a pickle shoved inside it this is hilarious but my two favorite things in one how good is that very good very good right i'm gonna make georgia and i a cup of tea i've got this slice of cheesecake i really fancied cheesecake so i got myself a slice of cheesecake i'm gonna eat that drink that let me just turn you around and show you this amazing sunset situation georgia you're never here for sunset should we get some like a cool photo or something yes, yeah, yeah. you're normally like gone by now yeah sticking around no no you're not why is there such an early sunset <laughs> <laughs> it's only five I don't what's going early. on maybe it's just sun we haven't used to seeing yeah, sun for a while true. guys i'm gonna sign off the vlog now we've got a lot of editing to do i'm looking forward to sharing all of this content then i'm gonna go get the kids so i'll see you in the next video Bye! Bye! <laughs>